how many of you have tuned in to watch the Tiger King on Netflix? I'm a man of many talents. I'm an entrepreneur, a trainer, a family man, a YouTube star, a medical expert, a model, an environmentalist, a AAA member. Hell, I'm even a magician. <laughs> Till my last dying breath, we're gonna take care of animals and blow shit up. Today is going to be a great day because we are taking you to somewhere really cool. Religiously have to have coffee in the morning, and what's your favorite coffee? Today is going to be a great day because we are taking you to somewhere really cool. I gotta tell you, we do have a few cats here at the K River Campground. Jumping around all nimbly bimbly from tree to tree. All right, man, where were we? But the cats we have here at the K River Campground are nothing compared to the cats that I'm gonna show you today. I know all of you are stuck at home with this quarantine and all this stuff. How many of you have tuned in to watch the Tiger King? on Netflix. If you haven't watched it, you've absolutely got to. It is a crazy, wild story, almost unbelievable. If you haven't watched it or you haven't seen it, you've got to go see it. We'll put a link for the story right down below in the description if, of course, you're watching us on YouTube. But here's the craziest part. I just found out about this guy and he's in my backyard. That's right, just right around the corner from the campground. So today, we are gonna take you to visit and we are here, we are in the, what's the place this called now? Uh, I, honestly, I don't know. The Greater Wynwood Exotic Animal Park. And there you have it. This is the one you guys are seeing on Netflix. We are gonna take you around on an inside tour. And I gotta say, from this point of view, just walking in the gates, it seems pretty clean, yeah. really. I mean, yeah. it seems like it's doing a great job. I don't know where it came or it went. So for those of you that don't know, the gentleman who built this thing is in prison right now, went to prison like last year for putting a hit on a lady who was trying to shut this thing down. Right. That's yeah. crazy. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. The, the story here is crazy. And, and he might be even a little bit, I mean, have y'all seen him? Joe Exotic for the people of America. How's that? They have Muscovy ducks, just like the Kriver, and they have a goose, just like the Kriver, but look at their goose. That is like a, I don't know. Oh, listen to that. Oh, you talking to me, partner? So we got miniature horses, we got pigs, we got goats, we got, what are those, emus over there? And who's that guy put, peeking out of the door? You hear that? It's like a drum. We got tortoises. Those ones in the back there. What the hell's going on? Yeah, I'm not really sure what they're doing. Hey, what's going on there, fellas? I'm gonna need you to slow it down. <laughs> we got cougars. We've got lemurs. We got kangaroos. Are you scratching your butt? All right. We got talking parrots. We got these things. Well, you make scooters ears look small, don't you? And we've got baby tiger. Huh? Oh, what are you doing? Teeth, boy. Ooh, golly. And we've got monkeys, we've got bobcats, we got peacocks. Last but certainly not least, the king of the jungle. Ooh. Look at the mane on there. I'll rub that belly. I'll rub that belly. I'll rub that belly. Rub that belly. Goodness. Hey there, handsome. Mm. Mm. Oh. So I guess as the story goes, they were big on breeding these younger ones and selling them or something like that. Uh, they got puppy teeth, you know? It's just short. They don't buy horns. So this is kind of the look, you guys. Some sort of a fox that looks like tiger, 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 tiger. Baby tigers. Mmm, that looks delicious. All right, guys, dinner served. There's more tigers behind this cage, a couple of them in here. 
Look at those big boys up there. Last October, we had a young lady that thought she could reach in and pet one of the tigers. It literally ripped her arm off. And when I got there, there was no meat, no blood, no nothing left on her bone on her arm. What's up there, big boy? Man, I gotta say, these cages are kind of small. I expected them to have bigger cages. Now, this is a supposedly now an accredited rescue. I don't know what that even means, but I can say all these tigers, that's a lot of tigers. I think over 200 tigers right now. I guess you gotta have small cages if you got that many tigers, but I don't know. That's a big, big tiger. This is just a really interesting experience. I wanted to bring you all along with me. I can't believe the story and the craziness that goes on around this. The sheriff says he's now spoken to witnesses about what led up to the shooting of Joe Exotic's husband here at the GW Exotic Animal Park on Friday. Yes, I need, a, I need an ambulance to the GW Exotic Animal Park now. This is something that I've always liked. I don't know if you all know, but years ago, I used to volunteer at a big cat rescue in Florida, not the big cat rescue, one down in Naples but I've always liked tigers and I've always liked playing with them. The thought of rescuing them and giving them bigger enclosures is always something that's, that's close to my heart. My idea at the Kerr River is more of a petting zoo than it is exotic animal rescue, but you know, I would actually build a big cage if I had to land and love to take in a tiger that maybe just need a little bigger home. How many of you would actually do that or enjoy it even? Crazy thing is, look at these babies, not even phased by humans. I imagine until it's it's feeding time, then that might change. Ooh, look at Mama's getting. Mama's looking serious over here. Look at that. Look at her crouch. That is scary. Look at this. I thought she was gonna pounce. What I think is really cool is how close you can get to them. I mean, what are we two feet away? That's pretty awesome. I've never been anywhere else you can do that. Stumped you. So back in the day, when I used to volunteer at a big cat rescue, spent time there, I was friends with the owner. At night, we used to ride our mountain bikes along the cages. Now his cages, one cage would be as big as this whole stretch. But we'd ride our mountain bikes along the cages at night to the moonlight, and them cats would just be running along the cage. Woof, woof. It was pretty wild. This is 10 acres, 10 okay. 50 acres. All the cages are much, much bigger. Very cool, very cool. When are you gonna have that done? On it. All right. Every day. They said it's 50, 50 acres? Yeah, 50 That's acres. That's a good size zoo, yeah, for sure. Well, too cool, it's a man. To walk. It's well, good to meet you. Too cool. Pleasure is mine. Y'all enjoy your day. So I forget his name, but I, that was the guy from the Netflix TV show. If you guys haven't been watching it yet, you'll be seeing him on the show. I think he kind of came in and tried to help save the thing, but there seems to be a bunch of different turmoil. I'm not really sure. So many twists in this TV series, but apparently he's still here and he's got it running, so that's cool. There you have it, a tour inside the animal park. GW Zoo, they used to be owned by... The Exotic Joe. Exotic Joe, and they called him... Uh, the Tiger King. The Tiger King, and let me tell you, man, if you guys got to go watch this show, <laughs> it is something else. But good news, they're looking at building a bigger park and maybe some bigger enclosures for the animals, so I feel pretty good about that. Explain to the people what the whole drama is in the TV show. Okay, so Exotic Joe, which is the Tiger King, had 227 tigers, and Big Cat Rescue, Carol, the lady that supposedly killed her husband, tried to get him shut down. So it's like this drama fest feud amongst Exotic Joe and pretty much everybody else involved. The people that uh, bought the zoo. It's crazy. It, it's just, you have to watch it. It's like something you have never seen in your life, I guarantee it. It's, it's pretty wild. <laughs> it's it, interesting. It is pretty wild. So the, the thought was is they were trying to shut him down because he was. they said he was breeding uh, baby tigers so that people could pet them. Just so people could, yeah. So I want to know how many of you out there think that that's wrong or how many of you think that it's okay? What do you think about the zoos like this? I really want to know your take on it because in here today I had a bunch of mixed emotions. Uh, I felt like some of the cages were too small, but then you don't know the backstory. Are these rescued cats? Or, you know, are they just bred for that and now you're keeping them? I, there's just so many questions and I just want to hear y'all's opinions. This stuff okay? Should this stuff not be done? But they say they're building a bigger zoo behind the Windstar Casino in Oklahoma and they're supposed to have bigger runs and everything else. So that makes me feel good. But, uh, you know, some mixed emotions. I love my animals. I love to have animals. I love to take care of animals. I love to help animals. You should have seen the mother sheep 
that we first got oh, when we yeah. got her. She was in bad shape when we first got her. Yeah, really bad shape. I couldn't even pick her up. We had to put her in a wheelbarrow just to get her into the trailer because she couldn't stand on her own. Mm -hmm. And now she's healthy as can be. So there's something to be said for taking animals in and helping. I don't know. It's crazy. I want to hear all y'all's opinions. You know, listen, I hope you all enjoyed the tour here. We were able to keep some pretty good social distancing. I don't think I touched anybody or came within too many feet. Oh, now you did it. That's it. That's it. Quarantine. <laughs> we're going to quarantine. We'll see you guys later. Y'all stay stubborn out there, okay?